if the harness doesn't work, which means that the ligament remains loose and the ball remains unstable and wanders in and out of the socket, or if we simply have not, with the brace, been able to gently encourage a dislocated hip to go back in the socket, then we have to be a little bit more proactive in correcting the problem. If the problem is that the, the ball simply could not be put into the socket, then occasionally we have to put the child to sleep and do a surgical repositioning to put the ball in the socket. Uh, in that situation, the problem usually has been that some structure has been in the way. Some muscle inside has been tight uh, and is preventing the femoral head going in the socket. So a release of those tight muscles surgically um, is sometimes the next thing we have to do. That's pretty uncommon, um, but the older the child is when the diagnosis is first made of a hip being out of the socket, the more likely it is that we'll have to do some kind of surgery above and beyond the bracing. And indeed, if the diagnosis of a hip dislocated is made after walking age, then it's really much more conservative to proceed with the surgery because it turns out to be more gentle to do the surgery at that stage and to release these tight structures inside than it is to try to force the hip back into the socket with a brace or a cast.